I remember him telling me that at Wiz Weka I remember and I was asking myself, Mimi siko to remember Nikiwa Kwetu and then I'm married. In quotes I'm married to this guy and he's telling me that Judy you have to do away with this pregnancy. Kachukua panga and then Akakuja karibu na mimi na akanishika mimi akaniambia you love your life ni kumwambia yeah nikimwambia what's wrong why are you like this kaniambia mimi sitaki uniharibie maisha yangu na sitaki ni kuharibia maisha yako na mimi nimegundua i cannot live with you anymore and i want i don't want anything to connect us like kuna mtoto uanze kuniletea mtoto atinianze i don't want dramas idawa ya kutoa mimba nataka umeze idawa and then you get rid of that whatever is in there my name is nyakoe judith kemto i am 21 years old i was born and raised in kisiland and i'm a nausop in nairobi So I'm the first born to my mother to my late mother. She got me when she was 17 yeah and she after three months she started being sick and then she died. My mother step sister took me and started taking care of me. I cannot even sit here and say that I was ever mistreated in that house I was loved and i was the baby in that in that family so one day my aunt comes home she was so mad at me and she told me that at that time i was going to form one and then akaniambia unajua baba yako amekuja akukutafuta and i was like wait what yes who kuna baba yako me i'm not your mother Your mother died na kuna babako mwenye alikuzaa. My husband is not your father and I was like wait what is that what are you telling me and at this time I just think kwa akili yangu yani sijai digest hiyo kitu ameniambia yani ijaniingia vizuri that I was still in denial nikasema nikasema okay maybe she's just kidding me she, this cannot even be true this very day my father comes akaka na sistake and then my aunt tells me and I was alone again in the sitting room and then this guy tells me I told my daughter and I said and I was I was looking at him like I'm <laughs> like I was nilikuwa namwangalia kama mwenye namwambia are you crazy i'm not even your daughter but on that day ndo tulienda na watu I was crying I I, I was I, I I used to tell them I want to go home and they tell me this is your home I said I want to go home and see my father and my mom So at this day they take me to their place so I find this the other family of my father He introduces them to me and he tells me these are your siblings and this is your mother and I was like Things happen so fast. I've not even digested the fact that you told me that my mother is dead. I've not digested the fact that you ran away, you left my mom. I've not digested the fact that it was crazy on that day. So Mimi it nikarudi shule. I was at that time I was in a boarding school. I went back to school and the teachers realized that i was so much depressed as i see kwa nataka kusoma i just wanted to run away from school i never wanted to talk to anyone i was just alone and i was thinking about how can my mother die 16 years later and unaambiwa who does that i mean it wasn't even getting into my brain at that particular time after nikakuja after so i i remember i refused to go back to, to boarding school And then my father also said pia mimi sikuwa na pesa ya kukulipia kwa boarding school because mimi sikuwa nimejipanga hivyo but still i used to think about my uncle how he loved me i, I used to feel that 
these people don't love me the, the way my uncle loves me. He loves me so much. At that time, I used to call him dad. I used, he used, my father used to tell me, I'm your dad. And tell, I used to tell him, where's he Baba Yangu? I know my father. So I'm in form four. I find this guy. He tells me. So remember, I was, I'm, I'm still desperate that I need the love that my uncle used to give me. I need to be loved, I need to be cared, I need someone to hug me. Like, my uncle used to hug me and tell me, Judy, take it easy, it's well, it's going to be all right. So I want someone to hug me and tell me, Judy, it's, it's okay. So I said, the fact that these people don't really understand what I'm going through, these people I don't want to talk to them, but I tell myself, wanajua story meanzia wapi? Do they know that I was told that my mother has been dead for 16 years? I, I, do they have that information with them? They don't. So I used to keep to myself that I used to say to myself, ni vile tu, awato wanyelewi. So I, found, I find this guy. Just me, I, 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 okay, wana kuanga, like the, the love is on another level. <laughs> so this guy tells me that Judy, I love you. And the fact that nilikuwa na ambiwa na kuyangu wana nipenda, I believe this. Nika amini, nika jua, mm, finally, finally, someone can love me as my uncle used to love me. So this guy used to tell me, Judy, me, I know how to do things, Maji. Me, see, where's the air comes, Jana Mimba? So I believe him because I'm so stupid. He told me that I'm going to use this method that is called withdrawal. withdrawal. So I never knew <laughs> it was withdrawal. And then I, I believed him. We did it and I went home. Then my periods are not coming, and then I ask, I tell myself, mm, if you are watching this and you know, <laughs> we tell ourselves that, ah, maybe, munimuel ni hormones, maybe, yani unajipea una moyo, you tell yourself, maybe, ni he. And then I used to feel, nataka kulala sana at that time. Sikuwa na, na morning sickness, vitu kama hizo, but I used to feel like nataka kulala. So, this guy calls me and asks me, have you, have you, uh, periods lako zimekuja? Naka, nikamambia, no. Kwa nini? Nikama ya alikuwa najua, alikuwa najua kitu yani amefanya. Nikamambia, uh-huh. So, what if you are pregnant? Nikamambia, what do you mean? So you said you went to withdraw. <laughs> you said you were going to withdraw. You said, but I was not sure. It, it is not even legit. You can be pregnant. And I was like, what are you telling me? Me pregnant. Me pregnant. How? And I... Uh, vile nili kata si muodi, nikasema wenyewe anaweza kuwa na point. Nikaenda shule. I remember I struggled kwa mka. Nikava nguo, nikaenda shule. And then, shule sasa, nalala tu kwa loka. And then, there is this teacher. She was our Kiswahili teacher. She, she told me, she called me and then asked me, Judy, are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Mbona unalala sana? Are you pregnant? And they said, Madam, what do you mean I'm pregnant? No, I was just asking, are you pregnant? And I told them, Apa, now I'm not pregnant. So, she told me, today I'm going to give you an exit. Kulikuwa na hospitali ya karibu na shule. So, nikaenda usi. Shock to me. Shock to me. Who daktari, I don't know whether he was crazy, he was drunk or what. So, ananiambia, unataka? Nyinyi tunajua mkona mimba, and I was like, what? What is wrong with this person? And I will let a, will let a sample ya, ya urine. Nekaenda nikaleta. Immediately, ya mpileka kwa lapu, ame leta. 
kaniambia you're pregnant mama and if you need to do an abortion i can do it for you and i was like wait a minute what did you just say i'm pregnant and you're telling me hapo hapo tu unazipeleka raka raka and like you're telling me you can i can have an abortion and i remember walking out of the hospital i never went back to school and i remember that was the last time in school i went home remember i've not told anyone that i'm pregnant by the way the, at home there there is my favorite aunt she's called aunt Debo, debora so shout out to you auntie so she she used to see me siendi shule anakuja kwetu ananiambia wewe uko sawa ndio eh mimi niko sawa i used to namka asubuhi na lala kwa jua ananiuliza uko sawa mbona unajianika kwa jua nambia mimi niko sawa akaniambia no today we are going to the hospital nikasema huyu ni nini mbaya na yeye sasa so what i did tukafika osi and then i was told and ule wasichana we don't trust you naweza kupea dawa za za ugonjwa wengine tupate uko na mimba so mimi nikasema hey me i can never be pregnant hiyo 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 ni pregnancy ni hiyo kitu ya kutest nyingine hiyo si it was wrong me i cannot be pregnant still i'm in denial <laughs> so mimi nikachukua ile masusu nikachanganyisha na maji ati ile <laughs> ati ile te ati negative at this time daktari anaweka tu hiyo kitu huko ndani inaleta two lines nikasema i'm done nikasema now i'm pregnant whether i then auntie yangu ananiangalia like pregnant ulipatia uli, ulipata wapi mimba and i was like i don't want to talk about it so maisha kwa ki village si rais hivyo like mtu anaweza fikiria now it was a new chapter of my life i need to i needed to accept that now i'm a mother i'm going to be someone's mom i need to take this on my own now sasa nikapiga ujamaa simu nikamwambia you know what sasa nilienda tena nikapima mara ya pili nikapata sasa niko na mimba ya ukweli ukweli so you know what he told me he told me that i'm not ready to be a father nikajiambia vile tu tunajiambia maybe yeah. ako tu na maisha zake acha tu ni muache ni mpigie kesho and then i called him the following day nikamwambia you know what mimi niko na mimba niko na mimba sasa tufanye na mimi siwezi toa he told me that babangu ni pasta akikuja kusikia ati nimepeana nimepea msichana mimba yeye ataonekana aje mm-hmm. they was like you're thinking about your father and i'm thinking about it my life you have ruined my life now you are telling me the stories of your father vile ata react na mimi nika nika ni i cried so much i used to cry every day thinking about my mom i wanted someone to hold me still and tell me you did okay the fact that now i'm pregnant the stigma kwa village kila mtu anakuongelelea msichana fulani ako na mimba I never even used to get out of the house. Auntie yangu she kept the secret for me. Thank you auntie so much. So <laughs> mimi nikakuja tu nika accept the fact that now I'm pregnant I'm a mother. Sasa wacha maisha yanze. Hapo kwa village kuna kuanga na kama kazi za mashamba. Now you have to go. Hmm? You have to go and work na mtu atakufanyisha kazi bila anataka si unataka pesa now you have to work and i can say that i thank god that god gave me the grace god alinisaidia sana nilikuwa na nguvu sikuwa na cravings zozote yani i was just fine chakula ni yoyote yenye napata na kula i was so energetic i was so strong and i could work for long hours naona kazi ya shamba bila ni ngumu i could work for long hours I I remember working up to the last day of my pregnancy. I was a first time mom. So sikuwa najua exactly what goes on. Na nilikuwa nasikia watu kwa village wakisema, "We, kienda kuzaa una chapuangwa." 
I was so I was so scared. I was saying me ah. Yani nika mbaka nika wana uliza. So mtu wakiza anakuanga. Kambiwa unatuanga nguzote. Like una, unakuwa hivu. Kila una, una, una wama daktari wa baba na wamama wanakuanga po. Wakaniambia ya. Yeah, Iyo time unanga shame. Au <laughs> ni wawo ni kitu. And then it was time now. Then nilikuwa ni. I knew I, I, I can say that God. I had bought everything and I had packed it. Then I had a kitabu, I had to go clinic, I had to miss it. So six exactly, my doctor was going to go to the next So I was going to go to the story. This is a Christian, he was going to ring, he was going to go to the next one. He was going to go to the So I remember I was going to conversation. Yao. And then I was going to go to the next wakaniambia tutaku tuta, ati tutakukata sijui tutakufanyia nini so i was wakaforce sasa wakaanza kunishika wananishika sasa wananishika mikono na miguu sasa i remember that huyo daktari akichukua pin and i cannot even forget that akachukua pin akaingisha akapasua the amniotic fluid I remember hiyo kitu vile ilipasuka ilikuja ikakuja na damu. So hapa kwa kitanda kulikuwa na damu damu damu. And then wana force push push sasa nashindwa what is pushing? What are they doing wananipiga? Wananichuna wananiambia watanidunga mashindano hapa katikati. I was really traumatized by that experience. Sasa walikuwa wameanza kutense. Like I was going to die there because damu ikitoka it's a very bad sign. So, wakapigia mwenye ako ka hospitali, wakamambia, you know, there is someone here, tunjajibu kumzalisha ni kama akona mashida. And then uyo daktari ya kakuja, and I remember telling me that mimi uwa sichezi, alinipea maslaps, alinichapa. And then sasa wakinichapa I become more nervous. Sasa naogopa, sitaki kufanya hii, sitaki. And then aka huyo daktari akasema no. Huyo msichana atakufia hapa na tutakuwa na mashida. So wakanipeleka kwa hospitali sasa nyingine. Nikufika huko. Nilipata yenyewe wa mama wako hapo but they were not in my state. They were not what people were in labor people were but mine was so crazy i remember nilikuwa na damu kwa manguo sikuwa nimekula kitu i was so tired it was crazy and this doctor says ah sitaki tena mtu afanyiwe operation na hapa nimechoka kufanyia watu tangu asubuhi wanakufa so I want this one mpeleke kwa hospitali nyingine because I'm so tired and remember this alaguma na kamwambia No fanya tu peke yake because huyo msichana ni kama she has gone ana ameteseka sana just murumia and then I was stressed now for Tiesa I remember I was ready to die because the pain was an an the pain was too much that now I said, Kama mungu anataka watu ni kufile mi die. And then I remember nikipelekwa. I was dressed nikapelekwa. Udaktari haka niuliza what went wrong. Mbono ungi kuja kwa hospital yenye ni ya serikali. Ufanyue yyo mamu. Ufanyue ukue save. Sasa wana your child is not breathing well. Na hata wewe. So you don't have enough oxygen. I remember working in care oxygen. I remember them talking, saying that this um toto awezi make um toto ni kama asha kufa. So ni kajambi ah ah ni akili yangu ina niambi ya iso vitu. That is not my child. So wakato um toto at that time si kuwa na jam toto akitoka kwa chumba uli. So my baby, I remember my baby never cried at that time. And wakato wa mtoto wakanishona. And then now, wakakimbisha mtoto ni kama walienda kumboost kidogo na oxygen. Waone kama kata kuja vizuri. 
So mimi siku anajua kama ukizaa, unaambianga una daktari nataka kuona mtoto wangu. I was so tired. So kuna mahali hapo katikati. Wakawa daktari wakakuja, wakasarao ntutu kitanda yangu. And then I remember one doctor telling me, Judy, you know people die and leave their kids. And it, me, it seems that your baby has sacrificed her life for you. And she has said that you have to leave and she has to go. And I was saying, what are they telling me? Does it mean my baby is dead? So they told me, Judy, your child could not make it. She died. Wakanyonyesha mtoto. I'm telling you, it was the worst experience of my life. It was so painful. It's not easy for a mother to see your child dead. It's not even something that anyone could want to see as a, as a mother. So nikaenda kwa ward. Kwa ward sasa ndio kulikuwa na maneno. I remember the doctors kwa nakuja wakipita wakipea watu mada and then Someone could ask you, kwani we mtoto wako wako wapi? And then I could break down and cry and cry. And then others could just understand. Others could tell me, Judy, you know what? Auta tuonyesha ma, machozi hapa. And then watu wapo karibu wanamuambia, ah, ah, huyo mtoto wake amikufa. And then he could keep quiet and go. Nikatoka. I remember it was so painful now that I can I'm, I'm able, I can see the the grave now. Yani sasa anaanza kuamini that now my child is dead. Basi kwa na kitu ya kufanya. And then something told me that you need to leave this place before you die. Yani before I die as in before ni kufi na stress and all that. Before I left. I had to go and do my KCC because I'd already registered for the KCC. I had to sit for the exam and I remember it was so hard. Baka in vigilator alikuwa naniambia are you okay na mwambia niko sawa. Because nilikuwa naangalia paper hivi and then machozi inanitiririka tu hata mimi nashindwa what is wrong with me but I was able to finish the exam and now Life was waiting for me. Now I had to go to Nakuru, where my father was staying. I had to go and stay with him. I had to go and find a job. By the way, I had to spend my life here as a mtumujinga. I had to go and find a job. I had to go and find a job. Something that I had to find a job. So I had to go and find a job. I had to go and find a job. I had to go and find a job. Namfanyia kazi yake ya nyumba. So, remember I was, I was still in pain. I was still thinking about my child. Pia uyu mama alikuwa na maishu zake zinye at first. Siku anazielewa. Was, she was so nasty. Alikuwa na nipigia kelele. Hata kama nika kitu kadogo. And I remember tulikuwa tunaishi fifth, fifth floor. Remember, Kidonda yangu it's two months old. Na mimi sasa nilianza kubeba maji mbaka wuko juu. Nilikuwa, I remember kuma, niki muambia, haki jaribu tu kutumia maji vizuri juu. Unajua tu vile niko, na iki donda nikieza tu wanguka chini, nikipeleo kwa osisi, yoni kama itakuwa ni vizuri. So, I remember her telling me, ulikuwa, are you, are you ready to come and work for me? Kama ulikuwa ready mbono una, unashinda umeni. Mbono na ni dictate vile nafaa kufanya. And I saw it like tungeko sana. Nika siku moja, nika amua, I walked out. So I went to my father's house again. My father was so mad at me at that time. And he told me, Judy, why did you leave your job? Na unajua your job ndo inakusaidia. Ako anajua I was depressed na misi kwa nataka kelele. I wanted to be alone. I wanted to heal from the death of my, ma, my, my mom and my daughter. And now, si sasa mtu ako idol, haindi mahali. 
you are there unaamka una, una clean nyumba unawaosha vyomba and then unaingia kwa simu in this time round nikapata text kwa inbox yangu so he told me judy i love you and i i said for the longest time this girl talking i love you except my uncle used to tell me way back that he loved me now he has died and i have nobody to tell me that he loved me so i said why not akaniambia mimi by the way nilikuwa naangalia hivi nikaona wewe ni msichana mwenye naweza kuoa hata sikufikiria mara mbili vile mtu anaweza fikiria yani wewe unijui unaniambia wewe unaona kama msichana unaweza oa and i was okay by the way naweza kuwa bibi ya mtu badala ya kukaa hapa ni sumbwane na fadhe ah naweza kuwa na mtu na mke wa mtu So siku mwambia immediately like I was ready but deep down I was so desperate to, to I was I wanted to be loved like nilikuwa nataka kupendwa <laughs> This guy the first the very very first red flag I did is the fact that this guy told me that he wanted a, a wife If at all someone wants a wife Will he go out there or go on social media and start shouting there that I need a wife? I no. Right now is So I don't ajambia no someone should not do that. I ignore the first red flag. So the second one. This guy tells me mimi sina fea unajua shule sasa atuendi he told me he was a teacher. Sasa atuendi sasa sina pesa can you please use your fear so that when you come hata nikipata kibarua hapa kwetu nyumbani i can refund you and i said why not with my stupid and foolish head and i said i watu nikusaidiana and then i remember that is corona period hakuna my job so the only work that unaweza enda ni ya mjengo so my friend comes and tell me judi situende mjengo nikamwambia wasichana wanafanyanga mjengo and said yeah i went there i worked i remember huyo mtu uh, mwenye constructor wa hiyo wa hiyo hiyo building alikuwa na nidharau niambia wewe katoto wewe unafanya nini hapa wewe uko na mashine uko na watoto nikamwambia pana why why are you here but i am glad that you give me the opportunity to to experience the life that ya watu wa mjengo i knew some things that as i naweza kuambia kitu fulani fulani i was able to learn so sinikapata hiyo by that time fair ilikuwa na kuru to kiss it was around 1000 i remember niliamka mapema sana 4 5 nimeshafika tao tao hata kuna hata kulikuwa na watu tu wale so less So nikapanda gari ni huyo nikafika kisi around saa 4:00 tano. Kumcall nikampigia hey where are you nimefika tao. Ati nimemtuma boda ikuje ikuchukue nikamwambia why not you. Yeah, I was niko na kazi mahali so we kuja. And I said okay makes sense. So this guy tells me that niliambiwa nikikupata wewe ni sura mbaya nikacha nikamuliza mimi ni sura mbaya kaniambia ah uko sawa so we went so this is that red flag I'm ignoring okay we go tukafika nikamuliza ni safari ni ndefu atufiki tunafika atu and i cannot even tell why i was even trusting the, this person in the first place because who mtu simji angeamua kunifanyia kitu mbaya by the way angenifanyia because nimemfuata atufiki safari ni ndefu atufiki tunafika atufiki tunafika tukafika we ni mashinani kwetu ni mashinani lakini uko ni mashinani mashinani ya mashinani mpaka hakuna stima barabara ndio mbaya nikasema okay i was so ready like i was desperate i wanted to live with someone i wanted love 
the said si watu waanzia mbali vile tunajiambianga by the way you out there usipate mtu wako hivi ati mwanze kuanzia mbali taanzia mbali atafika huko mbali mbali mnaenda atakuruka wacha mtu akuje na vitu zake na wewe ukuje na vitu zako mkiamua kuachana kila mtu muachane kila mtu na vitu zake so tukafika nyumba yake ndio atidi nika, nika something was telling me u mtu hata ana nyumba and then, and then i was telling myself ah kwani na, na judge vitu kwani mimi ndo najua akaniambia hii ni nyumba yangu by the way ni vile sijanunua vitu ndani okay like say, ah, kanimbia, unajua mtu akikuanga na bibi ndiye anafungukanga macho Simo, okay it makes sense but it, right, right now it does not make sense because i mean what is that does it even make sense that mtu akioa ndiye anafikiria that kiti inafaa kukua hapa ama kuna faa kukua na kitu hapa ama kitu pale kwani yeye ana akili zake so this this one day tukakaa kwa hiyo nyumba brother yake akakuja sasa hii ndio siku nilijua kumbe hii nyumba inakuanga ya brother yake so I, i remember brother yake akimuuliza wewe unalala na bibi yako kwa kitanda yangu I was like wait kumbe hata na bed and i was telling myself ah ni jokes to zao ni jokes to zao two months later i felt that i'm pregnant so tukaenda tukapima na ye. I told it's now he believed that I was pregnant. So he was he was so stressed. Akasema wewe mimi sina hata nyumba. Sasa that time he still me sina hata nyumba, mimi sina hata kitu. Nikamwambia si ule sema no hii nyumba ni ya brother yangu ni vile tu naitanga yangu. Like what? <laughs> what are you telling me? Unaita nyumba ya mtu nyumba yako? So I remember him telling me that at least we can remember and i was asking myself mimi siko toa mimba nikiwa kwetu and then i'm married in quotes i'm married to this guy and he is telling me that you do have to do away with this pregnancy nilisema ko huyu anamnipima then this this time akaniambia and hata aliniambia judi why don't we sell your phone tununue kuku What is wrong with ladies? <laughs> And I remember giving him my phone. Akauza simu yangu, my smartphone. Aku actually he sold my phone. Now akaenda akanunua dawa zenye alikuwa anataka kufanyia kitu yeye alikuwa anafanyia. So he sold my phone. And he went that that day alikuja amekasirika na muongelesha aniongelesha. So aka akachukua panga for the first very first time akachukua panga and then akakuja karibu na mimi na akanishika akaniambia you love your life nikamwambia yeah nikamwambia what's wrong why are you like this kaniambia mistaki uniharibie maisha yangu na sitaki ni kuharibia maisha yako na mimi nimegundua i cannot live with you anymore and i want i don't want anything to connect us like kuna mtoto uanze kuniletea mtoto atinianze don't want dramas nataka umeze idawa idawa ya kutoa mimba nataka umeze idawa and then you get rid of that whatever is in there i had no option because i never wanted to die but i in my mind i was telling god that god please forgive me because i've never ever wanted to do this so nikameza and then mtu akiwa na mimba heartbeat inaenda haraka haraka and i could feel death inside me i could feel that something was slowly dying the heart beat now ikas sasa ile ya watu wawili ikabaki yangu sasa now blood started coming out sasa ndio akaanza ile madhara sasa ya ukweli so kwa huko ni kazi kazi kwa shamba so ukifanya kazi kwa shamba ndio sasa unaonekana that you are the 
the wife material so i remember nikamwambia yake si useme tu mimi ni mgonjwa ni urumiwe i remember going to kulima so siku moja nika bleed sana na i remember yu siku akwa ananiongelesha nikaenda nikamwambia please come and see nikamwambia imagine nimetumia hizi vitu zote and zimeja and i don't know what the problem akaniambia ingia ulale hiyo ni kufanya kazi mingi and i was i was like no i'm dying damu inatoka tu kama maji sasa ni kama aliona like this girl is dying akaniweka kwa pikipiki tena akambaka aka direct huo mtu peleke usi fulani ya explain ni nini shida yake kaambia why don't you go together aniambia mimi niko na kazi yangu so i went no daktari akaniambia judi are you you said you're married married and this person anakufanya hivi and then i said yeah why are you staying nikamwambia i don't have anywhere to go why do you mean you don't have anywhere to go ni wewe hujatoka nje you are going to to find someone hata kama si si kuolewa tena you are going to find someone mwenye atakusaidia and i was i remember i was so i was afraid of the unknown i was seeing things in my brain that what will people say nimeolewa nimefukuzwa and what people never knew was that the fact that now i've been forced to do an abortion that something that never closed my mind at any particular my time something that was so bad something that was not even acceptable in the eyes of the lord so i come back home i, I find him ame ame ameoga anataka kwenda and i say ask him unaenda wapi now that i'm sick niambia kwani tutakaa hapo tuombeleze we ni mgonjwa and i said okay he is confused about the pregnancy so i was forgiving and now akapata kazi kuna kazi kingine alipata migori so he went akaenda akaru akaenda aka, aka nikakuwa nampigia simu ananiambia mbizi natoka kazi huwezi uwezi ngoja hata mtu anini atoke huwezi uh, ngoja hata mtu akae akunywe maji unampigia pigia and something was telling me at the back of my mind that something is wrong this person alikuwa cha kitambo sana ni wewe utaki ku accept now that the fact that you uliacha cha kitambo you move on and i was i was telling myself no wanaume ukuanga hivyo i was so stupid he came back shule zikafunguliwa now he needed to go back he was working in akuri needed to go back mimi nilikuwa najua tutaenda tu na yeye he told me atwende na wewe mahali wewe una, unafaa uende kwenu ua uende kwenu ufunzi kwanza tabia nikashindwa ni tabia gani nafunzwa na wewe umeniharibia maisha yangu and i remember crying so much wazazi wake hawako unajua watu watu has been going on in that so called marriage yani ilikuwa ya yani ilikuwa so so fast that iko inaeleweka so wazazi wake wakaniambia wewe enda hii asira yake ikipungua atakuita i was like okay i was accepting everything okay ataniita and then akaambiwa anipe fare he, he said no i remember kulikuwa na makuku hapo nje tulikuwa tuna tunazifuga hapo na mamake mamake akauza kuku and then akaniambia and then my, there was a friend of mine mwenye nilikuwa nimemwambia please nitafutie kazi hata kama akaniambia unaweza fanya kazi nyumba nikamwambia ya naweza fanya so akanipigia akanitafutia kazi nikapanda gari nikakuja Nairobi and that's how that uh, that is the moment nilitoka tu kwa hiyo boma i forgot about that man and i thank god but sasa vile nilikuja kufanya kazi i was so much depressed mpaka sikuwa na lala Nilikuwa tu naamka usiku wa manane naanza tu job. Nilikuwa tu na feel kunyamanza hivi. Hata mtoto wa huyo ma, mama mwenye ameniajiri kazi my boss by the way shout out to you. 
Penina Otieno, she was like, what a girl, and apenda kulala. Ana la 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 la, she never understood until I told her. Baka mtoto alikuwa na niyogopa, akuji karibu juusi muongeleshi. So at, the, at some point, mtoto alikuwa na nikata because alikuwa na feel, bini mtumbaya because mbona si muongeleshi, but I thank God, nilikuja nikakua vizuri, and then I learned that speaking, what you are going through, it's part of healing. You heal because you speak, unapata, unatoa yo uchungu, you heal. Something that I want to tell young girls out there, stop being desperate. These men are there. In fact, this generation will pass, another one will come, another one will come. If Jesus is not coming any soon, the generations of men will be there. I can say that right now I'm not in the right state of my mind. I cannot even lie that I'm okay because I see my child in my dreams every day and I see I can sit down like this and see things that I cannot even explain to people. I cannot even explain to myself what I saw. I think I need help. If there is anyone out there who would offer me like counseling, I, I, I would appreciate because atakuwa meni saidia sana. Going for counseling, you need more money, which I don't have right now and naeza kuwa sita afford iyo pesa but if there is anyone ni naeza shukuru sana mwenye naeza ni support ni ende counseling because I feel that I'm losing it because it's so it's it it killed me each and every day yeah